contrary to what people believe, it is not normal to be sick. It's not normal to have high blood pressure, even though it's very common. It's not normal to have diabetes, even though it's very common, especially in some families. It's not normal to have cancer. It's not normal to have gut issues. None of that is normal. So these things are really the body's language for telling you something is going wrong. And most of the time, it is a check engine light telling you there's something wrong, but you go and turn it off. But you don't realize just because you turned off the check engine light, you still need oil. So how do you, do we get the toxins out of the body? Well, the first and most important thing is you got to first do no harm. You got to stop putting them in your body in the first place. Right, right, right. So you got to get educated. You know, that's why I named my book Vegication Over Medication. Vegication. Vegication. You got to get educated about your food because they're not going to inform you. If you go by the, the my plate or the food pyramid, you are eating the standard American diet. You're not eating healthy. So you can't go even by their information. You got to get informed for yourself. So that's the first thing. First, do no harm. The second thing you need to do is start to change your habits and not just with your diet, but with your whole entire lifestyle. Yeah. You know, you got to manage your stress. You got to get out and get some sun so you can get vitamin D in the body. You also got to do some exercise. Like yeah. you got to manage your whole lifestyle, but food is a major part of it because that's also how you're going to cure the deficiencies by eating the right type of foods and nourishing the body. Mm. Okay. So that's a really important part of it. And one of the ways that I use is herbal detoxing. Herbal, okay. Yeah, so one of the things that I discovered, and I, <laughs> I learned this in pharmacy school, 50%, almost half of you know prescription drugs, they were made based on plant-based derivatives, meaning you'll have a drug made and there'll be a plant out in nature that it based its chemical structure on to make the drug. Now, you're probably asking yourself, like the smart people out there, well, why, why wouldn't you just use the, the plant? plant? Yeah, exactly. Well, the thing is, you can't patent plants. You can't patent nature. You understand that? Mm. So if you can't patent it, it means that any Joe Blow can can't come along it. and get Sarasop to get that mega dose of vitamin C to help with their cancer, to help with any type of infection. Yep. But if I take and take that plant-based structure and make a synthetic chemical structure of it. I can patent I can patent that. And I made And money. now I can charge you a thousand dollars. And what people don't understand, because I work for the FDA, you know, as a graduate student, what people don't understand is like the FDA is not doing the clinical studies. The drug companies are actually doing the studies for themselves for their own drug. And then they're bringing them studies and saying, look what I did here. Right. Now imagine if you had a child, you know, checking their own homework. Mm -hmm. They're gonna get a hundred every time. Every time. You know, and so that's what I mean by how herbs are really a great source of not only detoxifying the body, because we know if you eat something like, a, you know, a parsley, cilantro, basil, they remove heavy metals from the body. You know, just by incorporating those type of things from in your diet. So just imagine if you use medicinal herbs that are now not only pulling out the heavy metals, but they're also pulling out the toxicity from the food chemicals. They're also getting your gut to function again. So now you're not constipated. They're also getting all of those toxins out of the, the liver and opening up all of those other elimination pathways to get those toxins out of the body. So that's why I thought to myself, well, I've been on this side with drugs. I can do the same thing with herbal remedies, put together some herbal blends and create a full body detox to get people to get all these toxins out of the body. But not only that, to get rid of the parasites and the yeast in the body too. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for watching this video, but be sure to check this next video out that's right here.